Right now, you can see a world premiere production of The Red Flags performed by Verona Area Community Theater. Joining us today to talk about the show are producer Sarah Ward Cassidy and actor Marsha Hoyer. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Yes. So, this is a love story unlike any other. Tell us about the show. Um, I would call this a romantic dramedy in a lot of ways. <laughs> there are some funny moments, but my character, Chloe, is happily married, and my husband has um, a little bit of a family. Uh, some genetic issues. His mm. brother is a psychopath, a diagnosed <laughs> oh, psychopath. Oh my goodness. Yes, and he sets up my best friend with his brother oh. and kind of the, the romance and not so much <laughs> romance that goes on between them. Uh, I, we just want everyone to be happy. There's only four actors in the show, oh, no okay. intermission. It's, it's really intense, but um, all of the actors go through a great arc and I think okay. everyone should come see it. Sounds like a great show. So mm -hmm. this world premiere production is being presented as part of the American Association of Community Theater's new Playfest 2024. So tell us what that is. So the American Association of Community Theater is really supportive of new, new work. Uh, new works and so they do a contest every other year and invite anyone who's written a play to submit a play for consideration so they had just over 300 people submit plays they winnow that down to about 15 12 to 15 plays and then they select six producing theaters around the country to produce what ends up being six plays that are selected and so uh, VACT was one of the theaters that was selected to produce Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. How does it feel to be one of six out of hundreds of who applied? We were so excited. Uh, there are a lot of fantastic community theaters around. We went through an application process and an interview process. And I think they just really connected with the passion that our group of volunteers uh, have for putting on productions and our excitement about the chance to put on something new. And so this initiative addresses the need for more um, high quality productions in communities across the country. So how do you think that will help things moving forward here in our area? You guys always have such phenomenal performances, by the way. <laughs> Thank you Thank very you. much. Yes. Uh, you know, there are so many great theaters in the Madison area mm -hmm. and several forward theater and music theater of Madison are the two I always think of that are so supportive of, of new work. So that really was an inspiration for us to try and be one of those places that can and support new work and so we're just excited to see new things and be a part of that process. Yeah. yeah, You guys have a few shows left over the next few days. For people who do come see the production, what are you hoping they leave with? I think audiences will see this production and leave um, questioning a lot of different things, the choices of the actors mm -hmm. or the, the characters on stage, but we're hoping that they'll They'll look at it and they'll find love in different parts of um, relationships and see that it doesn't always come in the same size. Yeah, I love it. Well, you have a lot of fans here at 27 News. <laughs> yes. One of our former anchors, John Beard, is in a lot of your production. So uh, what you guys perform is just, just phenomenal and, and we're lucky to have you in our community. Thank, Thank you so you. much. So Yeah, it's exciting. Um, you can catch the Red Flags tonight and Friday at 7.30, Saturday at 2 p.m. Tickets are $17. We'll have more information on our website.